so hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i am going to be doing something very very different as you might know or you might not know i absolutely enjoy thrifting and today i'm going to be trying on thrifted wedding dresses i know that getting married or your wedding might be a once in a lifetime thingy so would you thrift a wedding dress are you team i don't care how much the dress is or are you team it's my wedding day i am going to spend a billion dollars on it i mean if you have and if this is your first time on my channel make sure to like subscribe leave me a comment and all of that good stuff i'm in toronto and there's so many thrifters but i have been to a few and i kind of know the ones that have more wedding dresses and also i'm going to try to make it a little bit realistic i'm going to put this ring on mine I don't know which one to use this or this but then i'm going to put it here i think it's supposed to be here right so that i look like i'm really getting married oh my god i'm fussing it oh my it's not going to end out it's too small oh my god i said yes guys i said yes don't worry i write a book and everything and how to find a man all my enemies all my haters i found a man don't worry my ring is going to size me later okay Friday night, yeah, I'm going out to forget how he did me wrong Triple crowns packed, but I'm alright, gonna let myself let go I didn't live up to his standards, but he didn't come close to mine I was too much for him to handle, yeah, right I wasn't his kind of a woman, didn't fit into it So guys, um, Salvation Army Thrift Store is like my go-to for furniture and very, very unique pieces because you would find a lot of things there and you'd be shocked. And this was me. I, I looked like I was in a boutique. I looked like I was in a bridal store. But it's just that bridal stores are always very clean and you can feel that white, airy vibe. And this one was just getting very much colored. Anyway, this was the first, first dress I wanted to try. It was silky. It had a little bit of a train and there was a lot of embroidery and pearls on it i was trying to show you guys as much details as i could and as well as also the price a lot of the dresses were not my size and a number of them actually fit very very funnily this one the sleeves even had like pearls the details were very very girly and very dainty and then it had some sort of ermine at the edge of the dress i like the is it hedge? I don't know. Anyway, and I was shocked to find out that wedding dresses actually had zips. I used to think that they were, they, wedding dresses didn't have zips and all of those buttons, you had to do them like one by one. You know when they used to say, oh, you take, um, it takes a village. I used to think they used to have to button the dress one by one. When I found out he had a zip, I was so excited. And it was thirty nine ninety nine. And at the Salvation Army, there's no HST, so it's basically almost tax free. And yeah, this dress was 39 that's like $40. And it kind of fits okay. I liked that the train wasn't as big, and sorry, as long and dramatic because I, it, it was really heavy. And I don't know how brides manage, but like they have to dance and jump and walk in these heavy dresses. Like why? <laughs> like why? But then it was really pretty. I found that flower in the store and decided to make it you know i said to play around as always then i found this other dress it wasn't white it was giving cream colored i want to think that the person that wore this dress was pregnant <laughs> or maybe the size was just very different because number one is cream like i feel like in nigeria where i'm from if your wedding dress is not white it means you're pregnant or you're getting married the second time that kind of thing but then it was it had a very long train don't mind me 
and I couldn't button it up because this one didn't have a zip. I think this pencil too was short because I'm like 5'4". No, I'm 5'6". No, I'm 5'5". Five five. I don't know my height, sorry. But then this person must have been very short because the dress was short in front. But then it had a nice train. I like the love, the heart shape thing going on on the chest. Very innovative. But I didn't, I didn't just, it just felt like some, it felt like a sleeping dress. I don't know. But then this one, I liked the upper part because it was kind of simple. The dress was very light. The train wasn't as, oh my God, the train of this one is long. And this one was $49.99. That's like $50. I had like a bold detail, obviously, because it was not custom made for me. The waist side is kind of lower than my actual waist. So that it looks very funny. <laughs> If I was getting married in real life and this were, the, this were my options, I would have bust out crying because I looked like I was thrown in a sack. Anyway, this is the way it looks. I liked that. It felt like they actually and beaded a lot of stuff on this. I liked the inbuilt corset too. And I found that flower at the store too. And then I found this dress also at the corset. I'm thinking this dress was made in like in, in, early, in the late 90s because the silk was not as hard as the silk like sorry this is this satin or silk it wasn't as hard as this one there if you have an idea i know what i'm talking about it's giving sultana vibes like you know that fabric from the old kind of sultana not the new ones that they make i don't know what this, this fabric is called i like the details the attention that went into making the tail of this dress usually these days the 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 veil is usually what is very very long I mean, I'm not very much into the bridal scene, so I wouldn't know. But with the brides that I work with, it's their veil that is usually very, very long. That way they can take it off and then they don't have to do it with a very big train. But yeah, why was I feeling myself too much? And that flower, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I liked this dress. Obviously, the sleeve was shorter. I wouldn't use this kind of sleeve that is like short over my, like just above my elbow. I don't know. If the if the sleeve is going to be long, it should be long. If it's going to be short, it should be short. But I liked the corset I, and I liked the upper part of the dress. Very very nice, very very nice, and very very. To be honest, very conservative. And this dress, oh my god, I loved this dress. It was very light. I kind of know now that when I'm wedding dress shopping in the future, I am not going to do any heavy dress because all of those heavy ones were pissing me off. But then every man to is on i liked this dress the fabric and the low back like the person was trying to do enough not do too much to just enjoy herself and be back you know it was giving it was giving everything i liked the upper part of the dress it had an inbuilt corset also and i mean i didn't really like the sleeve i felt like it could have been a little bit something else but i feel like mixing something else with this kind of fabric would have just ruined the whole thing and i also do not like the what's my own it's not like i'm trying to criticize this dress i'm just telling you guys what i like i like this old embroidery thing on the front i like the pearls i like the details i like the beads but what i didn't like is that ending around the around the dress like it was giving the dust money to put material there to just give it some drama but anyway, I really like this dress. It fits like a glove. It feel like it was for me. That, that night, but that's not my wedding dress. Anyway, this one felt like it seemed like the other one I tried before the other one. That's no sense. Anyway, this one is twenty nine twenty nine ninety nine. This dress is bigger as a bigger train like than the others. I don't know why this one was way cheaper. I feel like that goes to show everyone that treats that these people at the trip store just slap any price they like on items. Like they don't. They just slap any price they like and i also feel like if a dress is donated for free why are you selling it for fifty dollars why not sell it for twenty dollars they donated it for free so that people that cannot afford will buy and then you're selling hundred fifty dollars anyway i like this dress it came with an upper corset i don't understand that stuff that was going on on the upper part and i don't know why i was looking so devastated anyway this is another one this dress is giving child marriage it's giving the person is not even ready to get married the person does not even know what she wants and she was just very, very, very childish. I don't know. Because what is the name of Cinderella? Like this dress, I like the upper part. But it feels like the person that wore it had not fully grown. The person is giving like person that wore it was like 18 or 19. I don't know. I'm just saying. But I like that the sleeves were very long. And I can't even just imagine how the person must have looked 
on the wedding day or their wedding day. It's gonna be um, baby photo shoot. I don't know, but anyway, I really like the upper part of this dress. I wouldn't do the tulle and everything. No, I wouldn't do the tulle like and the lace and. Mm -mm. Oh. This dress I absolutely love. You guys let me know which one you like the most. I'm going to put numbers on the dresses so you can let me know the ones you like the most in the comment section. I don't know if it's the way it fits on me. For me, for the fact that I said I didn't like the two on that dress and I liked this one, it's confusing. It shows that I'm a very confused person. But I just like the upper part of this dress, the, the, what's it called? The padded, the pad. It just packed my it just really looked nice and that was me i'm always going to the camera because i wanted to be sure that i will be filmed properly grateful to tell me for filming this video for me because <laughs> anyway i liked this dress it's shocking that i didn't like the other one and i liked this one maybe it's the details and the small small i don't know but i just like that one i did not like that one and i like this one i like the tool i would wear this dress not for my wedding but then i would wear it for like I don't know just looked very i don't know just look very nice it just looks nice better than that one i think it is because it's sleeveless i know i like sleeveless but then i don't think i'll wear this to like a wedding i think i'll just wear it to like i don't know maybe a party anyway this dress looks like something an asian person will wear like an asian will wear I don't know, it was just giving kind of crazy rich. I don't know, I can't remember what she wore in crazy rich HM. But then I just feel like an Asian wear this dress. But I don't know why it was so pricey. I think it's because of the fabric. Because the fabric was very, very nice. Like in person, it was shiny and it looks like it had so much quality. The best person must have been the shirt also. And the tube dress was it was tubing because just look at how it held me up. I couldn't zip up because for the first time, I felt like I was I was fat because the dress was smaller than I am. I can't even imagine how smart person I want to stress. But then, what do you guys think? I really don't have anything to say about this dress. It's not my thing. And I feel like the owner of this dress just wanted to get married. <laughs> like, she was just over it. Because what is this? Like, no attention to detail. They just, I think she made the dress herself. I'm not trying to bash somebody's wedding dress. But then, I just not like this dress because... There was just like it just was giving scarcity because like they i don't know how to describe it just put a net just like a random cord lace and a tool with the same cord lace and some lining but then this is the way the train looks like i mean i can see the vision but i just maybe they should have used two layers of two or two rather i don't get but mm -mm, i did not like this dress but why, why am i even criticizing this dress because this is not the purpose of the video. Anyway, I tried this one. It was $49.99, $50 again, and it fit really nicely, except that the torso, oh my God, I don't know if that's the torso, but then the waist is lower than my waist. The hip, the, the waist is giving my own hip. But I really like the fit of this dress. Like, I, I feel like you guys know my kind of style right now. I like that the upper part is nice, and I like that. It just looked very princessy. Like, there's not too much drama, it just looks nice. I don't know, I just really like this dress so I like that it didn't have any extra extra tail. At this point everybody was looking at me in the store and they were like, Oh my god, this dress is nice, you should buy this one and I'm like, Okay, I'll get this one. I was trying to pretend like I was getting married and I I had that stupid ring going, so it didn't even look realistic. Anyway, I tried this one. Oh my god. This one must have been expensive in that time because the beading, the pearls, but then the the what's it called? The sleeves I don't know I, it was I don't like the sleeves I wouldn't but then the it just looks like something that would have been very very expensive because the attention to details you guys see the lacing and everything with the train must have been really nice I feel like in when like in the 90s because this dress is given 90s or 80s they didn't really make um the veils really flat and flamboyant because it would be too much at this point. Anyway, this woman was here telling me to buy this dress. Oh my god, it looks good. I'm just going to slim fit it and alter it. I should wear this dress. But excuse me, what the, what the name of satin is going on? I wore this dress. I don't think it was a wedding dress, but it was in that aisle. So I just wore it and I could not breathe. <laughs> I almost choked. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Anything with tool is just a lot. It's just kind of a lot. This was not a wedding dress, definitely. But I wore this dress. I couldn't zip up because it was really, really small. 
I tried this one also. It was looking like that second dress I tried at the beginning of this video. And it, it was $100. I don't know why. I think it was because of the... I don't know why it's $100. People just would just put prices on, on this stuff. And yeah, it, it looked okay. I don't know any... See, you guys, don't much come for me in the comment section. I don't know fabrics. I'm just telling you what I think. So nobody should come and argue with me. I'm going to delete your comments. Anyway, I like this dress. Just the upper part. I like the sleeve. It looks very modern. Like, it's something somebody can still wear now. And still, like, get away with it. It's just the turtleneck I'm not getting. But I feel like... The person that must have worn this dress had an up to on. Yeah, I feel like this dress would bang. Oh my god, that dress would bang with like an up to. And yeah, that's the end of this video. I didn't film like an outro. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to comment the dress you like the most. And if you like me to do something like this again. I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a lovely evening. Bye.